hey this is the knowledge catalog and this is biological science and then like our recent videos i am not going to feature any learning competency wala kay makita ng learning competency competency gen instead what we are going to do is we are going to introduce a branch of biology if you want to have a copy of this presentation you may contact me through facebook.com forward slash knowledge catalog forward slash so let's begin molecular biology it is a field that studies macromolecules and their mechanisms such as uh, gene expression, uh, replication, and mutation. So, such as um, macromolecules, kasi it can be it can involve or include a wide array of different molecules, such as, say, for instance, nucleic acids. And in this case, uh, the uh, the oxyribonucleic acid or DNA can be expressed. It can be replicated. It can also mutate. So, what do you mean by expression? Uh, we often say that if you have a gene for, say, for instance, uh, a really daunt, uh, daunting disease such as cancer, they say that sooner or later it is going to be, I quote, expressed uh, later in life. Or say, for instance, um, you have a gene for this particular color of hair, say black hair, and so it's going to be expressed. So. What do you mean by that? Uh, in molecular biology, we are seeking to understand how is how is your hair going to be black? Okay, what is what do we mean exactly by a particular gene? How does it do the work? Okay, so we are more particular with the questions of how. Although I know that you will agree with me if you were my classmate before and if you were my student before, that uh, molecular biology is full of things to memorize enzymes different proteins, different carbohydrates, different other types of molecules, even though we agree on that, molecular bio biology actually focuses more on the different mechanisms that are accompanying such expression. Next one is replication. By saying replication, we are particular or we are actually asking the question, how is DNA going to ha produce a copy? So we, it's not enough for us to say that uh, in nature, DNA is cop being copied because sometimes we need uh, copies of that DNA. Uh, so are we, are we just going to settle with, the, with that uh, kind of knowledge that nature is going to produce copies of DNA? No. Uh, through time, we have already observed that uh, in another video, actually, in another video, we know that uh, there was a time when um, DNA copies are uh, really... They, they come in you know, in small amounts and so what we do is that uh, we are um, studying a DNA as if uh, these samples are really really precious like we cannot because we only have a couple of copies of them um, until such time in the milestones of uh, molecular biology which is another video you may try and look for it or I, I may pro provide the link for you na nakapagproduce na tayo ng way na mechanism to um, mimic that to, to, to do that uh, DNA copying mechanism okay just for ourselves because uh, we need it we need to copy DNA in certain applications say in uh, ballistics I ballistics by forensics I mean now next one is mutation um, it is important for us to understand in w uh, what way did our genes as a race or did the genes of other uh, no, of other lower class uh, organisms I, so I'm sorry if I said lower class or other organ organisms how did they change from a particular partic a particular particular period of time uh, mutation is uh, is something that you can only understand through terms of molecular biology. Uh, you can you cannot actually understand mutation how is a gene duplicated or added how is a particular um, nucleotide uh, deleted or how was it inverted unless you deal with uh, concepts of molecular biology which is actually or mutation which is actually related to gene expression then so yeah, it's a complex uh, relationship so next one is that our general knowledge in the field is represented by diagrams of mechanisms describing processes such as proteins and DNA replication. Our knowledge of mechanisms is very important uh, in such that, okay, before we move on to the reasons why knowledge of mechanisms is important, let us first discuss what this particular uh, text box <laughs> is uh, saying. Ang sinasabi niya dito is, Yung pagkakaano natin, pagkaka-understand pagkaka natin sa molecular biology is actually full of different uh, mechanisms. So, anong bang ibig sabihin natin by mechanisms? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng text box na to? Halimbawa, in English, 
our knowledge of language is much on um, how to use it, like in reading, uh, in writing, in speaking, and in listening. Uh, so uh, that is how we understand that particular subject. In mathematics, how, how do we uh, understand it? It's much on uh, applying the different uh, concepts in, uh, log of logic, in solving problems, in looking for unknowns, in, lo in describing relationships and differences. So, yun, uh, medyo, medyo ganun yung mga ano natin, yung mga pinag-uusapan doon. Whereas in molecular biology, ang gusto lang talaga nating malaman are the, the, dif the different mechanisms. Uh, so, yung mga, yung mga flowcharts, yung different arrows, yung different variables, and how are they connected with each other? What is the first step? What's the next step? Is this a step reversible? So, that is our main concern in molecular biology, the house of things. Uh, so, uh, this uh, knowledge of such mechanisms is important because um, uh, knowing how something works provides us with an understanding. Okay, say, for instance, let's take a uh, severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus-associated virus 2, or SARS-CoV-2, uh, the coronavirus that co causes uh, COVID-19. Um, in case of Limbawa that uh, we don't have uh, an understanding of this virus and how does it uh, move from one uh, or how is it transmitted from one person to another, then it is going to be a really uh, uh, tawag dun, a really fearsome experience or nakakatakot na experience yon because we don't understand something. Okay, siguro not just this virus, like any other bacteria that has the ability to pro to form colonies or infect someone. Without knowledge of under, uh, without understanding how their transmission work, uh, transmission how their transmissions work, without understanding how their replications uh, work, then it's going to be like uh, we are always in a constant state of paranoia. Okay, now providing being provided with an understanding, kasi, uh, leads to the second importance, which is it allows us to have predictions or to make predictions based upon the regularity of the mechanisms. So uh, we take SARS-CoV again as an example. Um, we know that uh, this coronavirus. I, okay, before we didn't know uh, what kind of coronavirus it is, and uh, our lack of knowledge or our lack of understanding sa coronavirus nato actually led us to call it novel coronavirus because it, we don't really know what is it or what it is. Okay, until such time when different studies have already been made and we had this, uh, we had this picture of SARS-CoV-2. Uh, of NCOV, I mean, of NCOV, that looks like SARS-CoV, okay, way back in 2003. So what were we able to do there is that we predicted that perhaps it is uh, coronavirus related to SARS-CoV way back 2003, and so it is. And we call it now SARS-CoV-2 from its previous name, novel coronavirus. And now, because we have the, this understanding and we have predicted, uh, we can actually predict, since we have the understanding of SARS-CoV uh, before in 2003, we have this prediction of how it works, of uh, siguro these hypotheses, these educated guesses of how we can combat it. We can, now, uh, we can now have that potential to intervene or change the results or, or products of such mechanisms to manipulate its parts to produce tools or to repair a broken or diseased mechanism in order to control it. Um, if there is a need for controlling, we have to do controlling because um, it is important for us as a race to uh, do so in order for us to survive. Uh, just try to imagine, um, there are several plagues already in our history that has already all, parang almost wiped out one-thirds of, uh, of the human race. And so, uh, if we are not going to constantly check on the different organisms and microorganisms that can actually wipe us out and their infective mechanisms, then I, I guess it will be like um, a constant occurrence in history that there is this extinction level event among humans. I, well, that is quite fictitious, I know. So now, molecular biology seeks to understand biological phenomena such as gene structure and function in molecular terms. So we have already said uh, gene functions. Now, how about gene structure? Um, you know, uh, yung pagkakadiscover ng double helical structure ng, ano, ng DNA by James Watson and Francis Crick way back, um, 
it may uh, seem like uh, okay, yun lang na discover nila, sin, yun, yun lang, yung shape lang or yung tawag doon, yung orientation lang, structure lang ng DNA. Actually, hindi lang lang yun. Because of that discovery, we were able to understand how it actually works. Um, knowledge of the structure has provided us that uh, it has a backbone and those backbones are made of phosphate, it has a nitrogenous bases, it has a pento sugar, and we were able to predict just how it is going to behave under different circumstances by having a picture of its structure. And now, it provides us the molecular basis of replication, transcription, and translation of the genetic material. So basically, it provides us with um, a basic understanding of the central dogma of molecular biology. Uh, replication, yung pag uh, duplicate ng, uh, ng genetic material. Transcription, yung pag produce ng RNA. And then translation, which is the yung production naman of proteins. Um, in molecular biology, important importante yung mga yan, yung mga uh, biomolecules na yan. Importante na mayroon tayong understanding of those different bi biomolecules. Now, this provides an understanding of the relationship of various systems in the cell, including the interactions of the DNA, the RNA, and even protein synthesis. Now, it also tackles the regulation of these molecular processes. So, regulation... Um, it is uh, no, it is a uh, I mean it is a, a separate video because uh, in another video we are going to discuss uh, how is a gene expression regulated or what are the checkpoints that are accompanying the different stages of cell division. So I'll I may also be providing you with a link to that uh, video here. Uh, but gen but basically uh, regulation means um how is uh, cons uh how is um check and balance uh, happening in molecular in, ano, in molecular processes okay halimbawa um there has to be uh, only one egg cell to be produced every menstrual cycle so how is that regulated um it, that is actually understandable in terms of meiosis okay a molecular process and uh paano nangyayari naman na nagkakaroon ng cancer cells like are cancer cells actually um, dangerous cells or are, are they cells that the body, our bodies recognize? So that is also answerable by tackling regulation of different molecular processes involving, in that case, uh, yung mga mitogenic processes. And then it overlaps with genetics and chemistry as well as biochemistry. Um, but, well, uh, yeah, uh, genetics, chemistry, uh, genetics is much like a, bra a branch of biology. Um, we mean bi genetics kasi because we are, uh, in molecular biology, we are often talking about um, transmission of traits, her heredity, okay, from the parents to the offspring, and even variation. So the differences and similarities between uh, organisms, so that is our talk in genetics, and then, and even molecular biology. And now we're also talking about chemistry because, um, I mean, macromolecules or biological molecules have these uh, chemical uh, components in them that makes them react to particular other uh, molecules in, the, in a biological system. And biochemistry is basically the merging of genetics and chemistry. So yeah, I mean, in molecular biology, okay, it's not the actual merging, but it is the uh okay it is a process that has that is accompanied to that so i uh, think so much this is the knowledge catalog and i hope that you were able to learn something from this video it is a brand being developed by yours truly who is a teacher creator i am a high school teacher in the philippines and i love developing content that i find useful and i find needed to better my instruction so I hope you will leave a support, I mean, you will leave a sign of support to this video and to my other videos in this page. And if you want, again, to have a copy of this presentation, just message me in my page presented in the first slide. Thank you.